Welcome to this matriculation ceremony and Kellogg College. Now these are extraordinary times. Uh, I'm told that an um, email no longer classifies as a, an email unless it makes some reference to these extraordinary times or strange times. And ordinarily I'd be welcoming you at the matriculation ceremony in your college, Kellogg College. Um, and some of you I will have uh, welcomed in college a couple of days ago. Uh, but for everyone else, welcome virtually. And I look forward to welcoming you in due course, in person, in Kellogg. But this is a, a very important moment in your lives, maybe more important than you realise at the moment, matriculation, when you officially become a member of the university and college. I realise for some of you this may uh, feel strange because those of you studying part-time on modular programmes such as evidence-based healthcare, um, software engineering, you may have studied, completed some of the modules already and have been studying with us uh, for some time, but this is still the moment where formally, technically, you become a, a member of the university and the college for life. And that's why this is such an important moment in your life. Up till now, you haven't been a member of Kellogg for most of you. From now on, you will always be a member of Kellogg. First as a student, and then afterwards as an alumna or alumnus. Indeed, we've had some students who have come back as fellows, including our current vice president. Uh, but whether you, whether you do come back as a fellow or not, you'll always be an alumna or alumnus of Kellogg. So this is your college, fantastic college, and welcome to it. Now, I remember my matriculation some years ago. I was actually at uh, Balliol College where the, the then master the historian Christopher Hill uh, urged us all to talk to our fellow students. He said, because during your time with us, you learn more from them, from your fellow students, than you will from your, your, your uh, lecturers, your, your professors, which I thought was strange at the time, but, but very true, and all the more true in Kellogg, which is such an interdisciplinary college, meaning that not only you'll be able to talk to people from a range of disciplines, but they'll be expecting to talk to other people from other, other disciplines and expecting to learn from them because so many of our students are on explicitly interdisciplinary uh, masters and doctoral programmes where they, they are deliberately uh, looking at different disciplines to see what they can uh, draw on. So great college and great university. Uh, you know that uh, Oxford's at the forefront of trying to find the... the uh, uh, cure for, for uh, coronavirus, for the vaccine, um, and we hope that won't be uh, too far away. It's also obviously at the forefront in research uh, across the, the subject areas, indeed it's been recognised by the Times Higher Educational Supplement as the world's number one university um, again, the fifth year in a row it's been ranked as the world's number one university, and uh, the UK's top university by the, the Guardian rankings and also was named as, as University of the Year by the Sunday Times because of our work on the uh, vaccine and um, diversifying uh, the, the, the student body in which Kellogg's in the, the lead with the most international college, um, the most diverse by age uh, easily. I, I mentioned the interdisciplinary research. So welcome to what's probably uh, one of the world's top universities and what's undoubtedly Oxford's top college and the reason we're the best college in my view is because of you because of our students we've got the most interesting and interested students the most engaged and engaging students so I do urge you to make the most of it by getting to know um, each other what you get out of the college will depend entirely on you on how much you put in uh, we're there to support you on any events you want to put in, but it really is up to you to decide what events to put on virtually, maybe for the time being, and face-to-face -face, uh, when that allows. Um, do, so do make the most of your time in Oxford from college life. You'll get out as much as you, as you put in, and the more you put in, you will never regret it. It'll be go, go flash, flashing by your eyes at your time as a student before you then become a alumna or alumnus of the the college. So do get to know each other, come in when you're in Oxford for lunches and dinners, meet your fellow students, plan activities, call on us to support you uh, when you like and we'll always be there to, to
to do what we can to make sure that you get the very best Oxford experience. So welcome to your formal membership of the University in Kellogg College and I look forward to meeting you uh, in real life in due course. Thank you very much.